Hey, a little food for thought. If you're not using an attorney, you should probably get an officer of the state, like a notary, to certify the originality of any court proceedings that's been preserved. If you don't use a stenographer. But here's another trick that usually occurs, and this is more common on a federal level than on a state level. It occurs in a state level also, but I've seen this more commonly on a federal level. And it is once your document has been put into the record, a minute entry is going to be added it to the record regarding all those previous documents and those minute these minute entries are basically private proceedings that attorneys are privy to so if you're going in as what they categorize as pro se meaning you are in some ways acting as your own layman or attorney or even if someone else is acting as a next friend on your behalf these minutes they will not give you access to it unless you're an attorney or unless you beforehand it ask them to be impartial and make it very clear that you intend to hold them liable and whatnot they will put these minutes in and discuss the previous things previous documents that's been put into the record now it is your responsibility to contact whatever courtroom that is every courtroom has a court reporter find that courtroom's court reporter if you don't find that every courtroom has a law clerk that works in it find that law clerk that ask for the court reporter's information and Order that transcript of this private minute that they have. It's like a trust minute, so to say. You know how municipalities have their resolutions and their minutes? Or how you would do the same thing for whatever entities you're, you know, handling your affairs with. Well, they do the same thing with the courts. And interesting enough, Federal Rules of Civil Procedure are the state uh civil procedures really doesn't entertain from from what i understand thus far really doesn't entertain the court minutes and their liability of involving you or not so you have to bring it up beforehand and if for whatever reason due to the load of information you're dealing with if you don't then the onus is on you to order the transcript from the court reporter look at that and rebut what is necessary remember this court minute is ex parte and in some case you can use these court minutes as evidence that well there's a privilege uh, special immunities and privilege being granted onto members of the British accreditation registry which oftentimes the judges have resumes which you can find online and you know put that into material evidence as one of the ways to let them know or at least to compel them beforehand if you put in an affidavit beforehand addressing this that this is being nipped in the butt or at least you should but in case you didn't order the transcript Take that transcript if you see anything that's off about it, rebut it, put the rebutted version on record, object to it. Always remember you have the liability to always object even to a judge's order. Get that transcript, put it on record, and address it if there's any flaw to it that is detrimental to you during that ex parte proceeding.
and according to the canons that judges have to go through if you want to use their stuff against them although the constitution is sufficient but nonetheless the canons can serve as legislations that execute that specific part of due process and part of their canons say that in order for ex parte judgments to take place they need the consent of all parties or ex parte proceedings excuse me and these minutes are right under the category bring all these into the equation at an early stage so granted no one's perfect if you don't get the transcript get an eye on it rebut it as necessary object to it as necessary or just put it up there that the whole world can see it so that it's undisputable that certain things did take place remember evidence for probative value meaning that any fact finder can look at it and come to a conclusion based on what they're looking at in the four corners and say yep that's what it is and if these transcripts of these minutes are not available and you try to appeal you you you're playing catch up in a way that you ought not to always get the transcript if you're lagging behind that's about it